It's Friday the 16th of April 2021 and I'm at Causedon South Station to do a walk along London Loop and the first section of London Loop from here is road walking I think. Here's the initial stages of the road walking. Now heading up Lion Green Road. London Loop signs. We're in a quieter road now and we're going to turn right up there. Now crossing the Tattenham Corner Branch Railway Line on this bridge. We now have at least half a mile up this road to go. The road snakes on into the distance. Still on the road, so I'm now walking along a grass verge. This is the real downsider of the London Loop, this trek out of Causedon. Hopefully it'll improve soon. Now at Clockhouse Village. Here at last is where we get onto a path. Down there. This is much better. There's an iron boundary marker dating from 1898, marking the boundary of the now defunct Carshorton district. We come to a fork and take the left hand path up there. We're near the edge of a golf course here. I've joined a farm track and the reward for all that road walking is this fantastic view. Decent view over to the right and we're walking along this narrow path. At this point we turn left. through here. And out there. Now in this open area, which is known as Carshorton Road Pastures. An information board about the Carshorton Road pastures. We now have to turn left along the B278. That road walk was only about 200 yards. We can now turn right over this stile to get off the road along a path. And here's the view after the style. Pretty good. After a couple of styles, London Loop enters Mayfield Lavender Fields and you can smell the lavender. All this lavender. There's also an old style phone box in the lavender fields. After crossing a road, we enter Oaks Park and go down this path here. And there's one of these London Loop distance indicator signs in Oaks Park. And we now go down here. 
Oaks Park with London Loop information. This is just past the signpost in the last clip. We're now walking parallel to a main road along this pleasant path. London Loop now follows this rough track known as Fairlawn Road. Next we bear left into this bridleway known as Freedown Lane which we're going to follow for just over a mile. Nice view over to the right from Freedown Lane which continues along here. Confirmation, we're on London Loop. Freedown Lane continues. Further on, the track becomes more wooded. We now cross directly over the B2218 main road and head on to Banstead Downs. After crossing the main road in the last clip, we take this path across Banstead Downs. Nice view over Banstead Downs. And there's the path we're following of London Loop. Now crossing the Epsom Downs branch railway line. Just after crossing the railway, the path forks and we take the left branch down there. Next we have to cross Banstead Downs Golf Course. The path does look clear. Continuing across the golf course, the path is very clear. We now have the delights of crossing the A217 main road. The golf course continues on the other side of the main road. We're now in some scrubland on the golf course, but there's this London Loop signpost. You go off here for Banstead Station, but I'm going to continue to Yule West about another three and a half miles and that's the path continuing the golf course continues but we go ahead along that path through the scrub we now follow these trees quite a pleasant part of the golf course here Now on this path which comes out to a road and I'm off the golf course. We now head down Sandy Lane, down there. Continuing along Sandy Lane. London Loop now turns left, down here. Next we turn right into Cheyham Way, down here. There's an awful lot of road walking on this section. Next we turn left into Northy Avenue, along here, for about half a mile along here. We're now entering Epsom and Yule in Surrey, this is the Greater London Surrey border. turning right into Nonsuch Walk but we're going over this grass to follow this tarmac path up there we're between the two roads the main road and Nonsuch Walk 
We're now going to cross the main road and go down Bramley Avenue opposite. This section of London Loop is truly terrible. It's just all roads so far. Nearly two miles now. It's Bramley Road, not Bramley Avenue. And we continue down here. We now take a path beneath a railway line. Now in an area known as Warren Farm. At least we're on th the roads, we're off the roads. And this is the path London Loop takes. Soon we enter Nonsuch Park and turn left down here for just under half a mile. Very pleasant Nonsuch Park. A lot better than all that road walking. Sweeping view across the park over to the right and there's the tarmac path that we're following of London Loop. Now on this non-paved path in Nonsuch Park. Continuing along the now wide woodland path through Nonsuch Park. At this cross path we turn right down here. We're now walking along the site of the banqueting hall of Nonsuch Palace. <clears throat> London Loop now turns left to go through this grassy area. We're now heading for the A24 main road. Oh deep joy. Another view of that banqueting hall site of Nonsuch Palace. Welcome to the A24, that's where we have to cross. After crossing the A24, we take this paved path known as Vicarage Lane. After some road walking, we pass through the Dog Gate into Bourne Hall Park. Pleasant Bourne Hall Park. Now at the London Loop Way Marker in Bourne Hall Park, which is where I'm ending today's walk along London Loop, I now need to walk the quarter of a mile or so to Yule West Station. Now at Yule West Station, and that's the end of today's walk along London Loop. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.